Hey guys, checking in from the road today. Um, I'm literally driving all day today, so eight and a half hours. So I've just had a stop for some lunch, so I figured it would be a good time to check in. So um, I'm not sure when it'll get uploaded, but uh, at least I get the video recorded. Um, not too much to report, um, although I will answer the question because a couple of you have asked why I'm driving to Sydney this weekend. So there's a 70.3 on, on Sunday, Western Sydney 70.3, and Jet has uh, quite a few guys racing, so I decided I wanted to go up and support the squad. Um, and the reason I'm driving is just because, because of the number of guys racing, I thought it was a good opportunity to um, take our club marquee to have a, an HQ for the, for the, week, for the weekend and a, a place for the squad and the family members and supporters to, to meet over the weekend. Plus, I think it's a fairly reasonable drive. It's quite a simple drive and eight and a half hours isn't, isn't too bad in my, in my books. Uh, Bethany and Oakley are coming up later. Um, we had a little bit of a, a different morning for him. He woke up early because uh, he's got his first sort of proper illness. So um, he's probably had this a virus going on under the surface for a little while and he had his six month immunizations on Tuesday and so yeah he woke up this morning and he was a bit out of sorts. He was uh, a little bit hot and obviously had this unfamiliar feeling in his in his throat and his ears and his nose was a bit blocked so that was a bit of a different start to the day but he should be alright. It didn't take him long to get back to his normal bubbly self. Um, so I'm going straight to the airport to pick those guys up and then across to the hotel to meet up with all the all their athletes. Um, so speaking of being unwell, um, I still think I'm okay, but I've certainly got a couple of other symptoms that I need to monitor over the next couple of days. Uh, based on what I mentioned yesterday when I checked in and aborted that bike ride or that training session from yesterday. So, you know, I'm okay, um, but I've had a little bit of dizziness um, and my nose seems to be a bit blocked up. Um, so that may be from the aircon in the car, but just probably a lesson in listening to the body. I could kind of feel like there was something not quite right and as I said yesterday, I could have pushed through, but um, I didn't make the decision wholly and solely for yesterday. I made the decision for the long term. So knowing that, the, that included knowing what was going on this weekend and the fact that I'm traveling uh, next week as well. And obviously the race being um, almost in single, single figures away. I think it's 10 days today, nine or 10 days today. So it's not far away and again, I've many times dropped my phone and caught it again that's i'm not doing another take that's fine that's staying in um so uh where was i yeah so fitness is not going to be my limited so i didn't really need to push through and it's much you, you, to perform well you have to have a very sound foundation of health platform of health um, and then you build your fitness on that and performance comes from those other two elements so Definitely validating the decision I made yesterday with how I'm feeling and at this stage as a result of that I will um, I won't be doing that hard run session which was part of the original plan um, and again it's a good lesson to not make emotional decisions um, and to make pragmatic decisions instead because you know a part of me even now like I'm not a saint but a part of me wants to still do that hard run session because I was looking forward to it um, and I think I'd get through it and I'd be okay but again that's an emotional decision because I want to do something it's not necessarily what's going to be the best for me long term and the best for me with regards to my performance next Sunday um, other than that not too much to report because as I said I'll be driving for most of today and I won't get much of an opportunity to do much training um, but that's a bit of reality for a lot of people so what I was thinking about in the car was um, breaking things up into manageable chunks because a lot of people would say that eight and a half hour drive is a long drive, um, which I guess it is a long drive. Um, uh, but I think what made it manageable for me is I'm going to stop every couple of hours um, and I'm sort of chipping away at milestones along the way. And it's a good way to approach anything, a training session, a race, your work day, anything at all. I've got this corny saying that I use, how do you, how do you run a marathon? and you run a marathon one step at a time, literally. Um, so I think that you can use that to, uh, to break down any task, big or small, um, and that's how I'm breaking down this drive. But I think for age group triathletes, it's a good way to break down training sessions, as I said, and racing. It also helps you stay in the moment. 
But I think the biggest thing I want to get across is it's a good way to break up a work day um, and actually maximize your productivity whilst also staying healthy and keeping moving. So, you know, if you've got an eight, nine hour work day and you, you generally sit in front of a computer, for example, like you, you do 40 to 50 minutes of work and then have two to three to five minute break. Um, yes, you're moving away from the work that you're supposed to be doing, which sounds counterintuitive, but by moving away, you're actually going to be more productive because you'll go away, you'll refresh mentally and emotionally. You'll be able to then, uh, you know, have a drink, have a snack, whatever it may be, but just move the body, which we're designed to move. We're not designed to sit for eight or nine hours at a, at a time. Um, and then you can go back and, and you basically break your day up into those um, bite-sized chunks. Um, and it ultimately means you're going to be more productive. So that's me couple of lessons in there, a couple of things and points that I wanted to get across in amongst the driving, but for now I've got to get on the road. See you soon.